means I am generally an optimist, but that right there is devastating for Q Confirm. And I mean, look, on the flip side as well, it's also important that Wildcard take advantage of any mistakes that have been made. And boy, did they. They played unbelievably. So yep. couldn't be happier with the Aussie boys. Certainly a, a big victory for Wildcard, but questions potentially to be asked to Q confirm. We do have other questions, though, the good kind. Let's get Rousty in for a chat. Of course, the coach for Wildcard. Firstly, congratulations, mate, on the victory. Much needed. You had to win this game, of course, to keep the playoffs alive. I do have to ask, uh, did you expect to be going to Clubhouse, a map that has been suiting you guys very, very well? Uh, and Q confirm obviously didn't care. Uh, well, thanks. Thanks for the congratulations. And uh, I think, yeah, we kind of expected the, the approach for the game was that we were like obviously looking what the Q confirm have done before. And that we're kind of expecting to either play Klein or Club. And those were the two maps that we have been preparing. And obviously, like Clubhouse has been really good for us uh, this season. There, if we play Clubhouse every time, if it's that good as it was today, and uh, yeah, the, the it was like kind of expectations that uh, we go to either do those maps. I personally thought that we we're gonna go on coastline, but uh, for some reason, uh, they felt confident, and that played good for us today. So can't complain. By the way, very nice to meet you. I, I think this is the first time we're, we're interacting on an interview, so it's very nice to, to have um, you on, mate. Uh, yeah? Uh, There's a story, if I can say. There's a story because I, I have been really, really good luck to do interviews because I tried to do one in secret, and we lost that game. And basically, every time I tried to do an interview, we lost the game. So I was really shying away oh. from that, not jinxing. But I had confidence <laughs> on boys today, so I just, well, let's, yeah. let's give it a go. <laughs> so, yeah, you're the, you're the opposite of Raven now. You, you've kind of <laughs> you've rubbed that that curse off. But I, I am curious to hear, mate. You said that you'd been prepping for Clubhouse coming into this. What kind of preparations were you doing in the week leading up to it? Uh, well, to be honest, like mainly we were in like coastline. I think we feel comfortable how our Clubhouse is at the moment because at the end of the day, uh, our clubhouse is is really solid, but that depends on us playing to our game, which is supporting each other, having guns, uh, always like going for positive outcomes and playing round after round. And if you can get that, there's no worries about our clubhouse. There's so obviously you can refine things here and there, but our mainly prep for this game was coast, and we were getting ready for that, knowing that our clubhouse will be good. We get those like fundamental things in check, and today they were really, really uh, much in check. So, have to like congratulate the team, and I can safely say it, I'm really proud of the boys uh, how they came Good. together. Yeah, no, definitely the the most well-rounded team effort I feel like we've seen from you guys. In fact, probably the whole stage, and that's kind of where my question is going to lie. You can kind of look back at this stage now, whether you make playoffs or not. It's certainly been a much better effort from wildcard gaming. So I guess my question is really, where do you really feel like you guys are at with your development with the way the roster's changed and obviously the addition of yourselves? Do you feel like you guys have made a lot of progress or do you feel like it's actually only like maybe 20% and there's still a lot more ahead of you? Where Where is your head at with where the team is tracking? I think uh, at the moment we're in a stage where we are actually doing the stuff we want to do to get better. Like, like, obviously, first thing you come in as a coach or a new player, especially if you coach, first thing you come in and you just have to check out what are the issues that we might be having, and what are the issues we need to fix first and stuff like that. But it's really hard to fix stuff during the season because it requires a lot of uh, planning and dry running and stuff like that. So you just try to do as much as you can during the season. But I feel that uh, this team has way more lot to offer that you guys have seen this season. And it just needs to, that we have the peace and quiet to actually work on stuff. But there's like tons of potential with uh, with the guys that were already in the team and addition of Milo. And uh, we just have to be willing to work hard and uh, be passionate about what we do. And uh, I think the main thing is just to be consistent. And uh, that was something that we lacked this season. And the results might have been even better if we have, would have been able to find consistency on some of the games. But... It's a new team. Always takes time to get the synergy going. Always gets time to find the roles and everything. It's an ongoing process, but have to be happy uh, with all good 
stuff we have made so far, but uh, I think there's a lot more to come in the future. Yeah. Obviously, you guys need uh, quite a lot to go your way tonight. You did everything you could on your end by getting the victory, but I'm pretty certain you need like three other results to go your way, uh, if I'm correct, looking at it at a, at a glance. So uh, even if it's not three, maybe it's two, but it's still a lot. Obviously, you'll be watching the rest of the night. So uh, we wish you farewell. And any final thoughts you, uh, you want to give, I guess? Any shout outs as well before we let you go? Yeah, well, uh, shout out to Flux, our other coach. Uh, he's a. Uh, I think he's one of the best young minds in the game, and uh, he needs more appreciation than uh, a lot of guys that are in here. And I just wanted to get a shout out to this guy. So really happy to work with him, and it's been like a really refreshing thing for me to have a guy to throw throw around ideas and everything else. And obviously, want to thank all the fans and uh, and you guys as well. Uh, I think uh, APAC broadcast is really good. I'm really enjoying what you guys do and uh, hopefully you guys keep doing it. So thanks to that as well. Thank you very much, Rousty, yeah. and uh, best of luck for the rest of the stage and maybe the future as well, depending on what happens uh, over the rest of the night. All right, thanks, guys. Cool. Obviously, guys, Raven... Uh